Most of you are familiar with the M1A, as a lot of folks call it, the M14, which is actually the military version. Not as many are familiar with the M1A SOCOM 16, or they are interested but don't know that much about it and how it compares to its big brother. Let's take a look at and review the SOCOM 16 with the Vortex Venom red dot optic on it. I'm Drew. Welcome to Beyond Seclusion. Have you ever shot the M1 Grand? What a piece of history and what fun it is to shoot. I've had one of these for almost 30 years and then about 20 years ago because I like the action and shooting the Grand so much, I got my first Springfield M1A loaded and then I used that pretty much exclusively for bench target shooting and also hunting. And I love it. I had always eyeballed the short Scout version. And then I saw the SOCOM 16. And, you know, it, it intrigued my curiosity. Big thing, too, is, you know, how does it compare to the Big Brother? Is this kind of the ultimate maybe bush platform hunting gun in thick woods? Finally, I got my hands on one. Let's have some fun with it and check it out on paper before we get started. Let's just take a really quick look at the specs and tech. Okay, real quick, just gonna show you a lot of the features here. We've got our compensator on here. You know, I really don't notice that it, it's super loud. Um, does a great job with the recoil. We've got quick detach. The other side is exactly the same. So we've got multiple rails. We got the same on the other side. We got a rail here for flashlights or lasers or anything like that. Then we've got a rail down here for bipod. You also can put a vertical grip on there, which is actually kind of comfortable. You have to try that one out. Then this is the forward uh, rail here that we're going to put a scout scope on. Or if you wanted to use more of a traditional like red dot. Then as we move our way back, we've got our Venom here with the mount. Now, if I do want to put on a Scout scope, I can either take off the Venom and leave this mount on. This mount actually doesn't obstruct your view or anything, so you might as well just leave it on in case you want to go back to the red dot. We've got the traditional sights for an M1A. Then we have another QD point here, same on the other side. We've got the pistol grip, really comfortable. And then we've got the collapsible adjusting butt stock. I really like that. I added on the cheek rest. This just pops off. And there you go, guys. That's the M1A SOCOM. And I almost forgot. We got another quick detach spot down here. Now, most things look great on paper. When it comes to actually shooting, it can be a whole nother story. We've got the Vortex Venom on this. Let's see what we can do with some groups. Get it on paper at 50 and see what we can do at 100 and then maybe move out to some distance. Yeah, I gotta say for <laughs> right out of the box shooting, that really wasn't too bad. Um, not at all, really happy with that. What I'll do is we'll move down to 100, and I also want to try taking those iron sights and winding that up and see how that corresponds to the red dot. The reason I'm specifically interested in this is I know the full-size version is awesome at distance, but like I said, it's big, it's long, it's heavy. I love the action. I love the reliability. I love the history of the M1A. So is this going to give me an option for CQB or 
sort of brush hunting thick cover but then if i need to and i get a clearing or i've got some distance then I can go the distance too. So I've got the best of both worlds. I've got CQB and I've got accuracy and distance, but I also have it in a 762 by 51 NATO platform because yeah, for CQB, there's a lot of other options out there, less recoil, less weight, but they're not a 762 by 51. Okay, so let's just see what kind of groups we can get at 100 yards with the Vortex Venom Red Dot. Okay, so I'm not going to win any competitions with this for accuracy, but it's more than acceptable for what it was intended for, in my opinion. No issues hitting center mass at 100 yards. Let's go a little further. Okay, let's go 400, way up on top. Hey guys, if you like this review, if you follow my channel and you want to keep the reviews coming, YouTube is pretty much demonetizing almost everything related to firearms. What supports Beyond Seclusion is using my links to shop. Shop is if you always do it, costs you absolutely nothing. You go to Amazon, you go to PSA, primary arms, any of these, if you simply go in through my links and get what you are normally going to get, that supports Beyond Seclusion. I got a link down here that shows you how to do that quick and easy. Guys, I couldn't do it without your support. Thank you. We didn't have any wind, but it just picked up. It's it's an awesome zero degrees. I'm going to do some scope reviews on my M1A. I want to see what kind of groups I can get. But before I do that, I want to quick maximize and see what's the absolute best that I can get with a red dot. So I've got some match ammo with the Sierra Match King boat tail hollow point. Good stuff. I just cleaned the barrel. I'm going to run three rounds of Tula 150 grain full metal jacket. You know, make sure that we're reasonably on target. And then I'm going to run some rounds of match after the barrel cools off just a bit. Just to, just to make sure it's sort of a baseline. Okay, we'll take a look at those. It's not going to take long to cool <laughs> with the zero degrees. I'm going to grab some of the match ammo probably about the time I get that loaded and get back out of here. The barrel will be plenty cold and we'll fire off some more. Okay, so there's the three shots with the Tula. Let's run back and try the match. Let's go take a look. Hey, you now that's really impressive. So we're at 100 yards here. You know, that's basically the size. That was the Tula, the three shots. And then I went with the Federal, the Super... Man, oh, that's nice, guys. That's with the red dot. Okay, so we had the first shot out of the cold barrel. And then we had the three there. That's thumb size, you know, for a Vortex Venom red dot. On that M1A SOCOM, I think that's pretty awesome. I can't wait to get a scout scope on there and see if we can shrink that even more. Big downside to the Venom guys here is it negates the use of my iron sights. And I really like my iron sights. I like having them on there as a backup. It would require um, some smithing or doing something to the mount to allow me to use both. 
Okay, so with that said, I'm very curious what kind of accuracy this is capable of. I ordered a few low-cost scout scopes, you know, under $200 to test, and this would be possibly the perfect brush hunting gun. Now, it's lighter, it's more maneuverable and thick cover, but with a semi-auto 7.62x51 round for stopping power, I also have several different weights and different match grade ammo coming, and I'll test those using the scout scope. And that is going to be on a future review along with testing some of the very cheapest ammo I can get my hands on and see how it performs. Hopefully, this is going to save us some coin feeding this gun. There you go, guys. I hope you found this review helpful. Until next time, happy shooting and be safe.